Hello, I'm Gene Schmitz. Today I would like to visit with you a bit and demonstrate our Beef Cow Winter Feed Cost Dashboard Calculator. It was developed by Brent Carpenter, who is a retired MU Extension Field Specialist in Ag Business, and myself, I'm an Extension Field Specialist in Livestock. Winter Feed Cost Dashboard was designed to provide an estimate of winter feed costs. We looked at the period of January 1st through March 31st, for spring calving cows in late gestation and fall calving cows in late lactation. I put together maintenance rations and that I'm not adding body condition score and we utilized good, fair and poor quality hay. And we looked at either raised or purchased hay in these calculations. Again, the feeding period and the conditions that we're looking at are the feeding period of January 1 through March 31st for medium sized cows, uh, British breed, lower milk production, maintaining a body condition score in late gestation or late lactation. And I did include a 5% hay waste in these calculations. I used a variety of ingredients, and again, with the different qualities of hay in combination with rolled corn, corn gluten feed, distiller's grains, soybean hulls, soybean meal, commercial cow mineral, magnesium oxide, and salt. So for spring calving cows with good quality hay, I put together five different rations using these ingredients and different blends of those. I looked at, for the fair quality hay, eight different rations. For six uh, rations were developed for the poor quality hay. For fall calvers, good quality hay, I had nine rations put together, again, utilizing these same ingredients, just in different proportions and combinations. Uh, seven rations for the fair quality hay and six for the poor quality hay. So a fair number of rations put together to develop this dashboard as we had these multiple rations for each category of hay quality and animal stage of production, the supplement costs and total feed costs were calculated for each ration in each category. And then the median cost within each category is calculated. And that is what's shown on the diet cost summary. So understand that the diet cost summary is the median of those rations that I put together. This is the input page. Uh, the prices go in here. Uh, and are then calculated on a per pound basis. We put the prices in on a per ton basis. And as we look at that a little bit closer, you can see that we have the raised hay, these, the price uh, a producer can put that in if they know what it is. We utilize simply the ME cropping budgets for that information. We looked at good, fair, and poor quality hay. Again, I have looked at these and updated these as of the 3rd of December of 2020. The prices that I have for hay are from the Missouri Department of Agriculture. And this link here, this will take you to the uh, pages where you can find that information. So currently the good hay is $100 a ton, fair is 70. The poor hay is a bit hard to find. Uh, I just used an estimate of $60 a ton in this example, realizing or anticipating that the poor quality hay would be somewhat less expensive than the higher quality hay. The cracked corn, gluten feed, distillers, grain, soy hulls, and bean meal and, and mineral are all prices from a local feed mill that I contacted today and got price quotes for that. Producers or whoever can put in any of, those inf any of that information in that they have for their own specific situation. Realize these are put in in dollars per ton. <clears throat> Excuse me, and that's really the only input that you have to do. We talked about the different qualities of hay. Well, here's the definition of those and how we've defined those. So the good quality hay, by definition, is 10% protein, 58% TDN, with a net energy maintenance of 0.56 megacalories per pound. The fair hay is 8% protein, 53% TDN, 0.52 megacalories net energy maintenance per pound. And the poor quality hay is 6% protein, 48 TDN, or 0.7 megacals of net energy maintenance per pound. Again, that's the criteria that I used for the good, fair, and poor quality hay when I developed the rations. The hay price here, that's brought forward from the input page that we just had. And so then you can see, again, what that is relative to these different uh, qualities of hay. This is the output page, and this is what we're really looking at. So first of all, let's look at spring calvers here on the top. Realize that the supplement fed per day is the median amount of those five rations or those seven or eight rations or whatever was calculated in that uh, here. So 
Um, because we have fair quality hay doesn't mean that we feed exactly 3.2 pounds of supplement. I mean, that was the median of the supplements that I used, um, but uh, your situation may be different. But again, this is a planning tool. We looked at various combinations of, of feeds and got a median amount of supplement that we would need to feed. This may range, and particularly on the poor feed, that may range from four and a half up to six pounds of supplement per day. But again, the median was five too. As we look at then the putting the costs into that, the higher quality hay with um, a fairly slow amount of supplement, uh, the median price for that supplement per day was $1.79 per cow. As we got into fair and poor quality hay, the median uh, price per head per day fell to $1.42, $1.43 per cow per day. Uh, again, that's the median price based on today's costs. If we raise hay, obviously, as we get poor quality hay, the need for supplementation goes up, uh, the cost per head per day for feeding goes up. So again, this is the financial hit that you can take, uh, if you consider it that way, uh, by being um, lax and getting your hay put up. For fall calvers, we see the same uh, type of scenario. Uh, again, the median amount of supplement, and maybe not the exact amount of supplement that you need for your situation. But as we looked at a planning tool and an estimate of what feed costs might be and amounts, this is a reasonable estimate of what you might be feeding. And again, reasonable costs of what those might be for both purchased hay and raised hay. It is interesting to look at the uh, impact of hay quality and hay price on total feed costs per head per day. So in order to do that, let's consider the example of good quality hay versus fair quality hay at the same price. Um, you know, it is cheaper always to buy the higher quality hay, again, because you feed less supplement. But uh, could you afford to pay a little bit more per ton uh, maybe have a little higher diet cow cost per day, but could you generate some savings from that from other ways in your operation? And we'll talk about those in just a minute. I included here a estimate of $70 of hay cost per ton for poor and fair. So again, the higher quality hay, the um, cheaper that it is uh, per head per day when you are comparing that with the poor quality hay. Again, the same scenario here with $60 a ton. Look at this also as we have a, maybe a $10 difference here between poor and, and higher quality hay. That may only impact us a few cents per head per day. So that might be beneficial to us as we look at some other situations in our feeding program. So a couple of cautions here. The output does not account for excessive feed loss. So as I mentioned, I put a 5% feed loss that was calculated into these rations. But if the poor quality hay results in uh, like a 20% hay feeding loss, for example, I have to reflect that cost somewhere. And so the most likely way to do that is to increase the input price that I'm paying for hay to account for that loss. And Again, going up to about a 20% feed loss increases my cost per ton of hay by about 20%. So again, that can be accounted for by adjusting that input price. The output also does not account for labor, equipment, and expenses, and those types of things. So if these expenses are known, those could also be added into the input price for the hay. And again, I want to stress this is a planning estimate for winter feed costs. The actual feed costs will vary due to differences in hay quality, diets, feed prices, and those types of things. But again, can be used as a planning tool. So really the take home message is obviously, first we need to increase supplement as hay quality declines. There's no big surprise there. We have to be able to deliver the supplement to the feed bunk, particularly when we're looking for, at this poor quality hay we may need to feed five to six to seven pounds of supplement per head per day. So are you equipped for that? Do you have the adequate labor, feeding equipment, feed storage to manage that amount and level of uh, feed supplementation? As we get into higher quality hay for good and fair quality hay for spring calvers and good quality hay for fall calvers and, and late lactation, 
we could also maybe be looking at a situation where we could be uh, feeding every other day. And that could result in significant labor and fuel expense savings, which are not accounted for in any of these other calculations. So that are, that's some things that you could take into account as well in terms of how you might use these numbers. If you're raising hay, obviously there's a financial advantage to put up as high a quality hay as possible. If you're purchasing hay, you want to pay attention to quality versus price, uh, and you want to purchase by weight and quality. So that's a description of the beef cow winter feed cost dashboard. If you would like more information on this or a copy of the workbook, you can contact me. Uh, my email address is there, and I'd be glad to forward that to you and visit with you about that. I hope you found this information to be useful, and thank you for your time today.